The ending of Diamond is Unbreakable and the death of Yoshikage Kira raises the question what actually happened to Kira after he was engulfed by the unstoppable force that is the Morio Ghost Alley. It is mentioned multiple times in part 4 that no one knows what happens to whoever is taken away by the alley, not even Raimi who has been there for 15 years so we are only left to wonder. But thankfully to Hirohiko Araki's spin-off from part 4 and one shot entitled Dead Man's Questions, we are introduced to Yoshikage Kira once again. Dead Man's Questions follows the story of Yoshikage Kira living as a ghost in the world of the living without the memories of his life or how he died but still knowing his identity as Yoshikage Kira and of course retaining his burning desire to want to live a quiet life. We learn this very early on in Dead Man's Questions and this answers the question of where people go after turning around in the ghost alley at least when it comes to ghosts. So because Kira was already dead and living as a ghost when he was taken by the hands, it seems that the hands relocated Kira taking most of his memories from the time that he was alive and slightly changing his appearance. So it's unclear what happens to things that were alive at the time or even stands that were taken by the ghost alley such as in the case of Cheap Trick. Or maybe even the hands from the ghost alley are very specific to every single individual that it takes. So maybe it did this one thing for Kira because this is what Kira deserved or this is what his afterlife should be and it would be completely different for someone else that wasn't Kira. So in order to be 100% sure of what the ghost hands do, we would have to take a look at a couple cases of things that were taken by the ghost hands and not just Kira's case specifically. But since Kira is the only story that we have of someone taken by the ghost hands, this is all we're left with. So after the events of part 4, Kira is living out his days looking for a place to rest while trying to find his happiness by making his job his purpose for life. Kira works as sort of a hitman for local monks in exchange for money. It is also established early on in the story that life is hard as a ghost and there are certain and very specific rules that need to be followed, such as ghosts needing permission to enter rooms that have a living person inside of them, but they are able to enter rooms freely that are empty. And also, if a ghost touches someone unwillingly, the ghost will lose the limbs that made contact. So even in the author notes of Dead Man's Question, Hirohiko Araki makes it very clear that there needs to be rules for people even after their life. Rules to follow that in cases can make people's life even harder in the afterlife. So he states, in the world of life after death, if the spirit lives on, it would not be a world where anything goes, but where there are rules, just like this world. The ghost should go through the same amount of hardships we do, if not more. And considering what Kira's lifestyle is and what he does for work, this is definitely true that the rules definitely limit him and he has to live a life much harder than say when he was alive. So we follow Kira as he goes on multiple jobs and during these jobs we get a small glimpse of Kira's new life and are reminded that this truly is the same person that once was. It's almost as Kira subconsciously knows that he is and was a bad person and always will be as it seems that he has no problem killing people as a ghost and it is just part of his everyday life and doesn't even really question it. And at one point Kira even says that he is certain that he will not go to heaven but if time continues forever, he may find some sort of happiness by making his job his purpose for living. The reoccurring theme of this story is Kira trying to find a place to rest, but we never do see Kira find that rest, as it is assumed that he never will as the last words spoken to Kira after he was taken away by the ghost alley were, I'm sure it's somewhere you won't be able to rest in peace. <laughs> So the story Dead Man's Question is great closure for Kira's character and it's a small glimpse into his new life with of course a dead man questioning almost everything about his new life from why would an elephant lose his nose to how do these things in the spirit world work like spirit cleansers but it seems because of Kira's actions during his life he will never get the quiet life that he's always dreamed of. As the last page for Dead Man's Questions we see Kira walking off after an encounter with ghost cleansers ironically missing his left arm asking himself where should I rest tonight? And that is what happened to Yoshikage Kira. I tried not to reveal every single thing that happened in the story so you guys can read it for yourselves. There will be a link down below in the description. But thank you guys for watching this video about what happened to Yoshikage Kira after the events of part 4. Drop a like on this video if I fought your boredom or if you just enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.